Now this is my Atlas Model 10D. And I'm going to probably do a little series of videos on this machine. Presently, the reversing gearbox is broken. There are two bevel gears. Um, the idler gear that runs inside here on the top. And this gear is actually still good but the gear opposite of it is broken. Uh, it's got several teeth broken off of it, but it looks just like this one. These parts, if you can find them, for these two parts, it's gonna run you about 200 bucks. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna pay 200 bucks for two little shitty pop metal parts, so it was suggested to me that it might be a standard gear, or at least close enough that I could find something else that'll work. Um, of course, these little pockets in here are not standard, but I did manage to find uh, a gear. It's an 18-tooth miter gear. Same size, same pitch. So, well, it's close enough. It's 12-pitch. And as close as I can measure, I believe this is 12 pitch as well. Uh, I haven't done a lot of gear measuring. But it should mesh with this and it should work fine. And the plan is to get this in the lathe and machine this off, leaving just this center. And then to machine the new gear out and slip it on there, maybe a press fit with a little bit of Loctite will do just fine. This one's simpler. Uh, no need to save any pieces from this. When I get the new gears, I can simply bore that out and put that in there. It should work just fine. And I can even replace the third gear as well if I, if I have to, if I find that this isn't meshing with the new gears properly when they arrive so I, I may end up ordering a third gear I don't know new gears will be made out of steel so be stronger than these um, end bearing for the lead screw is also broken off now these were actually meant to break in the case of some sort of an accident so that it wouldn't break these gears. Well, so much for that. Uh, it's the old 5 8 inch lead screw because this is a 10, 10D and not a 10F. So this is pretty much an impossible part to find. And I'm going to have to make that. I'll probably make it out of aluminum. And what actually happened here to cause all this damage was this nut here actually came loose while this was turning under power and tightened into the bearing and jammed the lead screw up and I didn't notice I heard a pop it sounded like something had just fallen off of the workbench or something like that and so I was looking around to see what fell and then I kept hearing a couple more pops and I looked up and this gearbox here was spitting teeth out the bottom fortunately that's all the damage that there was was those two gears and the end bearing here so I should be able to have her back up and running soon enough um, no gears broken over here you see I just put it on this cabinet the other day that I found this in the alley and put some new locks in it but uh, you can see I've got a good amount of tooling down there this isn't all the tooling I have, but there's a couple of four jaw chucks and the change gears, face plate, some dogs, the follower rest. I have the steady rest. I like to keep it on the end of the lathe there, as a lot of people do. This is my own little modification, as I am a smoker. <laughs> and so that's kind of nice to have. Let's see here. Kind of up some wrenches. 
see so, yeah, I've got a bunch more tooling in here uh, for the lathe you know I just recently moved shop so I haven't really got anything everything set up yet in fact I'm not I'm not finished moving I still have to bring my bring some other tools over I've got a table saw and uh, a couple of benches and things like that anyhow yeah I'm sure I know a lot of people break this gearbox and like I said it's, it's pretty expensive so if this works you'll end up with better parts than you had originally and of course if this center portion here if any of these break in the future I can simply heat this heat the assembly up once I've remade it pull my gear off of there that's still good and remake this centerpiece um, so if that works I will have had this fix done for about 40 bucks in gears as opposed to the 200 that it would have cost otherwise and uh, maybe do some lathe videos in the future once uh, I've got her back up and running again uh, if you got any ideas or comments on this please let me know uh, you know all suggestions and ideas are welcome I think I want to put some casters down on this to raise this up a few inches because it's just a little bit a little bit low for me I can reach everything okay but I think it would be a little bit more comfortable if it was about six inches higher. Now well, four to six inches. I'm picky about things like that. Have a nice day.